Welcome back to What's on My Needles. And this week I will be finishing up the Olympic Peacock. Um, so last week I showed how to do the flames and how to connect those on. And the week before I showed how to make the tail. Now the ends being unsecured is on purpose. The ends here being unsecured is less on purpose, but also less important. So this time around, I'll be showing how to connect this to this and it's not by sewing. Um, so I'm going to get around to the correct spot in on the main piece and then I'll be right back to show you how this gets connected. Please remember to like, follow, and subscribe to these social media platforms. Links will be provided in the description below. So I am to the correct point. Um, so this is two stitches before the end of the round. And I'm actually going to knit these two stitches together with some of the bumps here. So I've got eight little bumps. So I'm going to take the four in the middle as where I'm knitting through. So I'm actually going to flip it over, insert my needle, then knit through both. Then do that on the next one as well. And then continue two more stitches on the first needle of the round. And that is actually the first part of this. The second part is to continue. Um, the next round I'll be attaching those two bumps and those two bumps and then I'll be connecting up here last. Um, so I did actually make a mistake on this one. I normally put purl ridges there so it's a bit easier but this time around I'll just be um, picking up legs of the stitches that are right here to connect that to the back of the peacock. But I will be back when it is time to connect the head. Um, so see you in a minute. If you would like to help fund this page, please find me on Patreon at Theatrical Crafts. Sorry about that, but I forgot to turn the camera back on when I put the head on. So instead, I'm going to show you how I do the beak. So for people who've been around for a while, you're going to recognize a lot of this. So this is almost identical to making the feet for most of my little critters. It's just of four, it's four stitches across rather than three. So I'm going to, st well, let's start off really at the beginning. So there are pearl bumps here for his beak. Uh, four ends on the bottom, four ends on the top. Now the ends are the ones that go up and that are on the upside and the U's are the ones on the bottom side. So we're going to be going into the ends. So I'm going ahead and picking up a stitch. And then I'm going to pick up another stitch. So this is technically pick up and knit, not just pick up. And normally I can use my stomach or something to better support the project while I'm working. But there's the first line, now it's time for the second line. So I flip the whole thing around, I'm going to pick up the stitches on the other side. On this side I typically end up using my fingernails to move the stitches around. Just be because there's another needle in the way. Okay. So there's the eight stitches. So for people who have seen the feet, it's the, okay, now we just add two stitches to make it wider. Well, this is a beak. So we're not going to be adding stitches today. We're actually just going to knit around. Okay. 
So this is a very small scale circular knitting. Um, I personally choose to keep it just on the three needles. So the two that you're actively knitting with and then the one to hold the other side. And that's just because I don't want to have to fight putting in one more needle just to take it back out in not that many rounds. And in this case, because the, the two sides are worked identically, it's a lot easier to not have a third needle or a fourth needle. So I'm going to go back to my original and I'm going to go, okay, so I've done one, two, three rounds. And I'm going to go ahead and knit two together and then draw up all the remaining stitches. So that one, so what it is, is the outside stitch is going to be on top. So there's one, there's the other, so you can see that they're meeting in the middle. And we're going to do that again. So for most people, this is an SSK. For me, it's a knit two together. Again, I knit slightly wrong, meaning I just throw my yarn backwards. And there's the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the yarn and then draw through all four of the loops on the needles. And that is the little peacock all ready to celebrate the Olympics. And I'll see you next time on What's on My Needles.